Hello again. You have probably seen my action film and my horror film and been wondering how I color correct and how I use color. I thought I would make this video to show you guys how I work in between Final Cut Pro and color and how I color correct. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, so this is uh, Final Cut Pro. Here I have my footage from the camera. Uh, I um, used the login transfer in Final Cut to convert the files from the camera to Apple ProRes 422, which is a good format to edit in in Final Cut. As you can see, the colors are not that bad, but uh, I haven't done any color correction yet, uh, and I haven't added any letterbox, so um, this will be much better after that. And yeah, the letterbox and the color correction will make it more Hollywoodish, if you can say that. <laughs> Uh, and more film look. So what you do in Final Cut when you have edited your movie, uh, you press the file button up here and send to color. Then you type in the name you want it to be called and press OK. And then it will uh, the color will aut automatically open and you get your footage into color. Yeah, so this is color. Down here you got your sequence, just uh, just as in the Final Cut. Uh, you get your footage here. You can uh, scroll back and forth here. On the left side, you get your monitor. Here you can see your footage when it's uh, color corrected. I haven't done anything yet, so it's still the raw footage. You also have different uh, tools here: vector scope, uh, histogram, color space, and stuff like that to make uh, this detail adjustments. Uh, but this movie wasn't meant for uh, cinema and. Uh, and I actually I don't have patience to to do all this <laughs> detailed stuff, so I just do use my eyes to see if it looks okay. So yeah, and uh, in the middle here you get uh, different um, tools to adjust the colors, um, the contrast, the saturation, uh, the gamma, yeah, and all that. Uh, on the left side here you have uh, different presets you can make. So if you make any adjustments in a clip, you can uh, save those uh, color adjustments and uh, the, it will create a thumbnail here. So when you want the same color correction on another clip, you just double click on the preset you made. So uh, if I, for example, if I go to this uh, clip, I can go down here. Here I made some, uh, some presets uh, before and I can just double click this one and you see it will be added to the footage right away. On the top here you get different tabs. Um, it's a setup. Here you can uh, choose uh, where you want to render your files, uh, what the resolution is and stuff like that. I always keep this in the default settings. Um, here we have the primary in. This is what I usually, uh, this, this is the place where I use the color correct. You also got secondaries. You can uh, do more color correction, uh, but I don't use this. So I, yeah, so I don't have to. I don't think I will talk too much about this. And you get the different color effects, uh, also presets here, and uh, primary out the same as primary in, but it's the last adjustments you do before rendering. I don't actually I don't use this either, so just forget this. <laughs> yeah, and uh, some other stuff I don't use. So let's go to primary in. So what I do first, uh, I have a recipe on how to uh, color correct my movies, especially if it's an action movie or a horror movie. Um, and this film was uh, shot with only natural light, so I didn't have any lamps where I could uh, use filters to make more blue or more um, orange colors. So this uh, I will do in uh, color. Uh, so um, what I usually do is to first um, take um, adjust up the contrast uh, here we have on, the, on this box, you have uh, the shadow, uh, you can adjust, uh, adjust the darker parts of the picture. In the middle you have the mid-tone and the highlight. So to adjust up the contrast, you go to the shadow level and press this one and take it down a bit. As you can see it gets a bit darker. And then you can go to the highlight, press uh, this light and take it up. It's a bit hard to see now that I'm scrolling but I'm pressing this and scroll up and down as you can see it's get lighter uh, yeah, and darker yeah then I go to the shadow again uh, I and then I start to fix the colors 
Uh, what I do is in uh, I want the darker parts in the picture to get more blue. That's just uh, something I tried and I think it looks quite nice. So you just uh, press uh, this uh, little button in the middle and take it down to the towards the blue part of the circle a bit, not too much because then it's get too blue. So a bit down there and then I go to the highlight and then uh, take it to the orange part of the circle or orange or yellow. Yeah. Like that I think it's good and then I go up to the saturation and I decrease this a bit because uh, when you um, adjust up the contrast the colors get more intense uh, so I usually decrease the saturation a bit to yeah to avoid the very intense colors the saturation adjustment uh, depends on the clip and how many colors there are in the picture uh, as you can see in this uh, footage there are not many colors a lot of gray and uh, black and yeah so uh, there, there here I don't have to decrease the saturation too much uh, the last thing I usually do uh, to make the, the finish on the color correction is to just lower the mid-tone I press here and just lower it a bit because um, it all, uh, always looks a bit better when you de uh, decrease the light a bit the brightness because it gets more film look uh, and uh, yeah and if, if you just watch a film you will see that it's a, actually a bit darker than when you watch documentaries and stuff because it creates more at atmospheric uh, feeling yeah so when I've done all these adjustments uh, and I want the same color correction on the other clips uh, I have to make a preset because as you can see the other clips is not color corrected and still raw footage so um, instead of going to each clip and adjust all the things I've done, I can uh, create a preset uh, and just um, yeah, which makes it more easy to add, uh, add the color correction on the other clips. So here I can um, call it uh, if I call this preset um, action clip color corrected and save it. It will make a thumbnail here, uh, which I can make, uh, which I can, which I can double click to to add the color correction on other clips. So if I go to the next clip here, I double press this one, and there you can see it will add uh, automatically all the adjustments I've done. So I can do this all on the, all of the clips, like here and uh, here. And, and in some of the clips, the the light is a bit uh, too bright, and uh, as you can see here, it gets overexposed. So then I should adjust um, the color a bit. I go up here to the highlight and take down the brightness in the highlight. As you can see, it gets much better. But then I have to create a new preset uh, for this uh, um, adjustment. And then I can call it maybe action uh, clip uh, color, color corrected, uh, less light. Save this one. So for each uh, um, clip that has uh, a lot of light, I can just use this uh, preset I made now. Yeah. So that was my color correction in the color. Um, as you can see, it's it gets quite fast when you have the presets. Um, when you are finished color correcting and you want to uh, send this back to Final Cut, you just uh, mark all of the clips by pressing Control A, and then go to Render Queue and add selected or add all then the clips get into this uh, box and uh, you press start render then it will render through all the clips and when it's finished you can press file send to fin Final Cut Pro yeah now we're back in Final Cut Pro uh, when you export from color to Final Cut as I did uh, Final Cut will create a new sequence that is called uh, from color and uh, when you open it, you will get your uh, clips as it is color corrected. As you can see here. To make it even more film look, you can uh, add a letterbox, uh, which makes it to 235, which is the cinema format. Then you go to effects, video filters, matte, and widescreen. Then you drag this to your clip. Then you double clip, uh, double click the cli uh, clip you have and go to filters and then you adjust this to 235 and you see it will be added automatically to your clip 
a smart solution to copy this uh, filter to all of your clips is to right click on the clip, press copy, then mark all of your other clips and press edit past attributes and then mark the filters and press OK. Then we'll, we'll be added to all of your clips. You can also adjust the picture position by going up to the filter. Uh, for example here uh, I want the, his head to get a bit more down. I can double click this uh, clip and uh, adjust this one. So uh, if I want it to be more like this I can just yeah pull it down there. Yeah, and then I would just want to show you guys one more thing in Final Cut Pro, which is quite cool. Um, here I have a footage with my girlfriend uh, when we went ice skating. Um, I filmed while I was uh, skating around. <laughs> As you can see, the picture shakes a lot because I haven't, I don't have any stabilizer in my camera or in my uh, lens, which I used. Uh, so uh, if I want this to be more smooth, there's a po actually powerful tool in Final Cut that helps you to establish the footage. So if I go to effects, then the video filters and down to video and take this uh, smooth cam filter and drag it to the clip. Usually this has to render but I've done this before so it uh, doesn't have to render now. But as you can see when I play back it gets much more smooth and it gets quite cool actually. So yeah, this is a very powerful tool when you want to have more smooth shots, like this. You can also double click the clip and go to filters and adjust the different um, translation, uh, smooth, uh, rotation smooth and stuff like that. Uh, because um, when you add this, the picture will zoom in a bit to avoid that you see the dark um, sides of the picture when, when it moves around. As you can see, when I take the auto scale down to zero uh, you will see the black uh, corners and uh, because it's uh, stabilizing the picture yeah so thanks for watching i hope you learned something about color and color correction in this uh, video uh, if you want to see the action film i made um, you can press the video on the top left corner and if you want to go to my channel you can press the video on the right top corner yeah so hope you have a nice day bye